I think a, a software startup today that does not contemplate cloud as a market, whether it's an on-premises cloud or a, an off-premises cloud, I think is missing a huge market opportunity because it's clear to me from uh, the enterprise customers we talk to that there is uh, a large and growing wave coming that's, uh, I think, basically going to be the next generation of the internet. And so I think any kind of SaaS or open source or enterprise application company really has to be really thinking about how they re-architect for delivering their services uh, over the cloud. Now, what about uh, virtualization and the, sort of the next wave there? Where will we see more virtualization outside the data center? And, you know, a lot of people are talking about security virtualization as a new big market to protect that layer. Well, security is, a, I think, just an element to make sure that virtualization is, uh, is working on, on a broad rollout. I think what VMware pioneered was test and dev and, and print and file server virtualization, and now I think you're going to see uh, virtualization rolling out into a lot of other production environments and so security access management becomes much more important and so I think this is really just sort of uh, derivative issues that pop up when you're when you're bringing virtualization mainstream what about hardware is cl moved to cloud computing virtualization pretty much killing the hardware market I mean you've still got you know big public companies like IBM HP and Dell still selling a lot of servers uh, but how about for a you know young trying growing company? No, I think it's not. It's it's enabling. You know, it's sort of the uh, who was the economist that talked about creative destruction? I think uh, cloud computing is creatively destroying an old market but replacing it with a new and larger market. And I think while Google and Amazon, uh, IBM, EMC are all going to have uh, large positions in the cloud, I think you're going to have enormous opportunities for small uh, mid-market companies to participate in that, and I think they're not going to be the only game in town. And what kind of markets are those going to be? I mean, what, what, what specifically I, technologies? In 10 years, you, almost every computing service that you use will probably be delivered by a cloud vendor or a combination of vendors that make up a cloud service. So just think of what you're doing on web-based services today. Think of everything that you would do inside an enterprise and it will probably come from some kind of cloud uh, value chain. Does that mean Microsoft share of that market is zero if 100% of it is in the cloud? No, they will participate. No, obviously, they're going to be huge in virtualization. They're going to be, uh, they're already, you know, with Office Live and Windows Live, they're already moving in that direction. So I, I don't think they're going to cede any territory there. And in terms of any other markets that might benefit from the move to cloud computing, whether it's chips, storage, whatever. I don't see they're going to benefit from it. I just think it's an emerging market and architecture, and I think it's just a question of how do they take advantage of it. Um, you know, not unlike virtualization, how does uh, Intel fully take advantage of uh, what that means for um, for them and also for the storage networking guys? How does that uh, drive their business going forward?